Hi, my name is Haley Guenka. I am 15 years old. I am at East Village Middle College High School. I'm a high school student and I'm a college student as well. Well, one of my main hobbies right now is to build gardens. I have a little garden at home filled with succulents and cacti and whatever succulents tend to grow really long, I donate it to our school club Interact, which is service above self, and I donate all the su um, California succulents to our garden. Is volunteering at the hospital. That is a huge compliment. I've been waiting five years to finally volunteer at the hospital, and I do two shifts, and most people don't get to do that on their first try, but the interviewer, she really liked the way I spoke, and she wanted me in one position, and I wanted another position, and so Fridays I get to do as a patient rounder. I go around from floors one to 11, any floor that needs my help, and I go in and with the patients, I talk to them, I restock the cabinets with supplies, I help the nurses, I answer the call phones. And then on Saturdays, I'm in the labor and delivery, and so I help make baby bow hats, they're so cute. And I help the nurses, I redo the board if needed to. I help any way I can. It's Steve Irwin, actually. And there's a reason to that. His goal was to inspire others about wildlife. He wanted to connect people and wildlife. And if you see now, not a lot of people care about our wildlife. Not a lot of people care about our ecosystem. No one wants to talk about what we are doing to our animals. And his legacy was about animal conservation. When he bought out land, he was going to preserve that for wildlife. And he was known as the wild, um, crocodile hunter. He went into swamps, went into rivers, and he would bring out food and the crocodile would just come up. It's wild, it's not trained, nothing. And he did that for a reason. He brought wildlife to people's home. He inspired, he wanted to show how humans and wildlife can work together. The hardest challenge I have faced is my disability, and especially the stigma with my disability. There's a lot of discrimination and, sti uh, and stigma for anyone who's disabled, no matter what disability it is. I have mild cerebral palsy. It's very hard. Not a lot of people realize it because it's very hidden. They don't realize until I tell them, until I start describing. And once I start describing, it's already there you already face the stigma. And I've learned to overcome it, the, the mentality. I was raised not as a uh, typical disability person. I was raised that I can do anything. If I put my mind to it, I can do it. And I've stayed that way. And that's the only way I felt like I've over overcome it. Because no matter if I have a disability, I can help people with that. I have a different perspective of life. So let me use my perspective to help you. Let me use my perspective to see something different, to create change. Hearing other people's story, that helped me get to where I am. I'm a very outspoken person. I like to speak, I like to hear people's stories and they're always telling me different things, even the nurses. Um, I spent an hour talking to a nurse. She was telling me about her children. She was telling me how she became a nurse, that that wasn't even the role that she was, um, didn't even know she was gonna go into. She wanted to become a teacher. And now she's a nurse teaching parents in labor and delivery. And any story I hear, it helps me and guides me in my life. It makes me overcome that mentality of a typical disabled person. I don't understand what the whole argument of a normal person is. I don't think there is any normal person. There's just people. And it all depends on how you want to see life. Talking to someone, maybe someone you grew up with because they've known you for so long and they can see how you are as a person. That has helped me, talking with my parents, trying to figure out what my goal of life is, the stigma of having a disability, everything, I've talked to them. But the main advice I would give to someone is don't give up. Yes, you're going to have doubts. Yes, you're going to have struggle. Yes, you're going to have people who are going to judge you. That's life. And you got to find a way to challenge that. Because those are challenges. And if you don't overcome it, 
you're back to square one. <laughs> and there's not much advice I can give you because that was on you. You are your own person. You have to figure out how to get yourself out of there. That's the advice I would give. My dream is to become a neurosurgeon. And I specifically want to become a neurosurgeon because my disability affects the brain. And I grew up in the hospital. I always go to the hospital. I actually have to go to the hospital next week. And I think being in the hospital and seeing all those people with my disability in so many different ways, because my disability ranges depending on the person, it made me realize my goal in life, my destiny is to help people and to change, to change the world as much as I can, to help people, to change the environment, to help animals. I don't have to stick to one thing. If I wanna change the world, I can change the world. And I'll just have to figure out a way to do it. <laughs> seeing others happy. Seeing others happy when I make them happy, when I help them. I enjoy helping people. And I'm being very honest with you. I enjoy listening to people. I enjoy hearing stories. I love to share. So any way I can, I just love the idea of helping because there's a difference between helping because you want to get an accomplishment like an award and there's a difference between helping because that's who you are as a person.